The U.S. Army revealed major details about its latest modernization effort involving the M1A3 Abrams main battle tank. This announcement comes shortly after a significant combined arms lift fire exercise at Fort Cavazos, Texas, where the 1st Brigade 12th Cavalry Regiment conducted a simulated combat operation, testing the lethality and readiness of their forces. The exercise showcased the operational integration of the M1A3 Abrams, giving a glimpse of how the tank will perform in real combat scenarios. The M1A3, initially known as the M1E3 during development, is the latest evolution of the Abrams tank, which first entered service in the 1980s. The M1 Abrams was originally equipped with a 105mm rifled cannon and a gas turbine engine, setting a new standard for battlefield superiority. Over the years, the Abrams platform has undergone several upgrades, such as the M1A1 and M1A2, featuring a more powerful 120mm smoothbore gun, advanced armor and cutting-edge digital systems. However, in 2023, the Army pivoted to the M1A3 design, moving away from incremental improvements in favor of a more innovative approach to modern threats. The M1A3 Abrams is packed with new technologies. One of the most notable advancements is the hybrid electric propulsion system, which cuts fuel consumption by up to 50%, improving both operational efficiency and sustainability. It also features a modular open systems architecture, making it easier to upgrade as new technologies emerge. The unmanned turret reduces crew exposure, while active protection systems defend against modern threats like loitering munitions and drones. Artificial intelligence is integrated to enhance situational awareness and targeting capabilities, and the tank is compatible with robotic systems, allowing for a more versatile and efficient approach to combat. The Abrams X Technology Demonstrator, revealed in 2022, heavily influenced the M1A3's design. Featuring a lighter chassis, hybrid electric propulsion, and an unmanned turret, the Abrams X demonstrated the feasibility of next-gen technologies on a more efficient platform. These innovations laid the groundwork for the M1A3's cutting-edge capabilities, setting the stage for the Army's future plans for armored warfare. Real-world feedback has also shaped the M1A3's development. The deployment of M1A1 Abrams tanks in Ukraine highlighted the vulnerabilities of older models. Nearly half of the M1A1 tanks were either destroyed or damaged shortly after being deployed, underscoring the need for enhanced survivability and mobility. These lessons were taken into account, leading to key design improvements in the M1A3, including stronger armor and better mobility to meet the challenges of modern combat. The U.S. Army's modernization strategy goes beyond the M1A3 Abrams. The Army is also investing in other platforms like the Armored Multipurpose Vehicle AMPV and the Bradley Hybrid Electric Vehicle BHEV. These initiatives reflect the Army's broader goals of improving survivability, mobility, and sustainability across its fleet of armored vehicles, all while aligning with the U.S. Army's climate strategy, which seeks to electrify tactical vehicles by 2050. Meanwhile, countries around the world are also pushing the envelope in tank design. Germany's Rain Metal has developed the Panther KF-51, while South Korea's Hyundai Rotom unveiled the K-3, a next-generation tank featuring hydrogen fuel cell propulsion and AI-driven systems. France's Leclerc Evolution, introduced in 2024, boasts a 140mm Ascalon gun and state-of-the-art protection systems. These developments show how armored vehicles are evolving to meet the demands of future warfare. The M1A3 Abrams is more than just an upgraded tank. It's a symbol of the future of armored warfare. With its advanced technologies and innovative design, the M1A3 will be a key player in shaping military operations for decades to come. As the U.S. Army continues to refine its strategy and modernize its forces, the M1A3 Abrams will ensure that American tanks remain a formidable presence on the battlefield.